And let us now proceed on choosing the statistics part of the laboratory. We are only collecting the we are only collecting the traffic statistics for the building to switch and the global Ethernet delay. And to do that, right click on building to switch and in the drop down menu select choose individual statistics. Expand the switch hierarchy, then check traffic forwarded packets per second and check traffic received packets per second. Then expand VLAN and check traffic received packets per second and traffic sent packets per second. Then click OK to save the changes. To collect the global statistics, just in case you are curious to check the traffic statistics for the first floor and second floor switch, then simply right click into the switches and select choose individual statistics. Okay, so press Ctrl S to save our first scenario. We are now on duplicating the scenario part of the tutorial. So on the top menu bar click scenarios, then so then click to select duplicate scenario. Edit the scenario name field to 10 Mbps underscore 30 underscore with VLAN. Then click OK to save the changes. This time we're going to enable VLAN into the switches before we can configure the ports. Since we need to segregate the application traffic for our three departments, therefore we need to create three VLAN IDs and names. So right click on the first floor switch, then click select similar nodes, right click on the first floor switch again, and click edit attributes. In the VLAN parameters attribute, Click None and select Edit and change the Scheme Attribute Value to Port-Based VLAN. In ITGuru, it uses the common types of VLAN memberships named Port-Based VLAN, which in textbooks, it is known as the Membership by Port. Okay, so in the Supported VLAN's Attributes Value, click and set and click edit then set the rows to three since we have three departments under identifier vid double click the first row then type 10 double click the second row and type 20 then double click the third row and type 30 then under name double click the default value and change it to vlan Then double click on the second row and change it to VLAN 20. And for the third row, set the name to VLAN 30. So maybe you are wondering why we need to set the identifier and name. The VLAN identifier is an integer range from 1 to 4094 that can be set in configuring network switches. To VLAN. The integer is used as an identifier which will be assigned to ports where the workstations or devices are connected, while the VLAN name acts as a group name to identify which VLAN membership does a device belongs into. For example, we know right away that VLAN 10 is for ports with VLAN identifier 10. Under type column, you will see 802.1q. The 802.1q is the IEEE standard or the Ethernet network protocol for VLAN that is attached in Ethernet frames for tagging. The tag portion of the Ethernet frame contains the VLAN identifier or the VLAN ID that allows the switches or bridges to know which VLAN membership should it forwards the frames. While the MTU is the maximum transmission unit with a fixed size of 1500 bytes allowed by Ethernet protocol. So go ahead and click OK to save in the settings. Then click OK again to save all the changes that we made. And back to first floor switch attributes window, check the box next to apply changes to selected objects. 
and click OK. So we have now enabled VLAN in all our switches 